Hello everyone, my name is Arohi and welcome to my channel. So guys, in my today's video, I'll show you how to use YOLO world algorithm for custom object detection. So YOLO world is a real time open vocabulary object detection algorithm. It is a zero shot detection model, which means you can detect objects without training your model on it. And in my today's class, we will uh, create a custom model from YOLO world, which will detect the PPE equipments, personal protective equipments like hard hat and gloves. Generally, whenever we want to perform any object detection, custom object detection, what we do? We first provide training data to our algorithm, then algorithm get training on that data. After learning, we get some a trained model and using that trained model, we perform custom object detection. So this is how we work using the traditional object detection models, right? But using YOLO world, as I've told you, YOLO world is a zero shot object detection model. We are not going to use any data set. We will only use the YOLO world model and then we will perform few steps and after those steps we will get a custom model and using that custom model we can perform personal protective equipment detection on unseen data set okay so let's start let's set up the environment first where we are going to run this yolo world model so guys ultralytics they have uh, integrated this yolo world algorithm in their ultralytics package so we are going to use yolo world through that ultralytics package so for that we need to install the ultralytics and you can install it using pip install ultralytics after that i'm just showing you the version of ultralytics which i'm using so it's 8.1.17 and now, so in this cell, we are loading the pre-trained model of YOLO world. So how we do that? We import YOLO world from Ultralytics. After that, we are writing the name of the pre-trained model which we want to use. So I'm using the large model in the same way you can use the medium and the small models. And using this model.predict, I'm just testing this pre-trained model. So this is the image on which I want to test and save true means you will see this image, the output of this will be saved in our runs folder. Let's execute it. So here is the result. Person, this is, this is what this YOLO world detected. Now, so the next step is to create a custom object detection model which can detect personal protective equipments like hard hat and gloves so for that what we will do we will use this dot set classes and here I'm writing that this hard hat and gloves so it means that um, from this YOLO world pre-trained model I want to create a custom model and that custom model should detect gloves class and hard head class. Before saving the custom model, let's check if our model is able to detect this hard head and gloves class. So for that, I'm using this model.predict and I'm testing on this image and let's run this code. Here you can see we are getting hard head and gloves class detected. So that means uh, this uh, by using this set classes, we are able to detect these two uh, different objects. Now we will save this model. In this cell, I'm just showing you how to print the output image where you got the detections, uh, which is in the runs folder, how to uh, show that in a Jupyter notebook. Okay. In next cell here. So these were the two classes. And after using this set classes, here you can write the name of the classes which you want to detect the custom classes and then you will only use this dot save and write the name which you want to have for your custom model so i want to create a custom model which can detect hard hat and gloves and i want to save the model the custom model with this name now execute it once you run this cell you will get a uh, custom model with this name in your current working directory and that will be your custom model and using that model now you can detect hard hat and gloves 
So guys, see, without any data set, only with just few steps, we can create our custom model for custom object detection. Now, let's see the model in our current working directory. So, this is the uh, custom model. And in case this is the Jupyter notebook which I'm showing you. And in the current working directory, we got this model. Let's test this model. So first thing is to load this custom model. So how we load this custom model? So for that, you need to import YOLO from Ultralytics. And here you write the name of your custom model. And then using this predict method, you can, uh, you can perform predictions. And this time I have a folder with the name of test images. And in that folder, I have few images. On those images, I want to perform the PPE detection. Let me show you the test images folder first. This is my test images folder and these are the three images. Now let's perform testing on these three images. And the results are stored in predict six folder. Now let's open the predict six folder. It will be in the runs folder, detect, predict six and let's see all the images one by one. So this is the first image, see gloves gloves and the hard head this is the second image hair also you can see hard head and gloves detected this is the next image hair also hard head and hard head is detected so see guys with just few lines we have created our custom model without any data set so this is how you can use yolo world for custom object detection and i hope this video is helpful thank you for watching